Hi everyone, it's Matthew here from Bead Spider. How are we all doing today? We've got a few people who've joined us already, which it's lovely to see. So hi to Evelyn and Marcia. They've jumped on really early over on the YouTube channel. So good morning to them. How's everybody doing today? Um, today, I've got a very fun show in store for you all. I'm going to be teaching you how to make and create all sorts of beautiful designs using dagger beads. So if you haven't really seen what dagger beads look like before, if you want to have a little look at the link that I've just put into the comments, that's going to show you all of our brand new dagger beads that we've only just put on uh, just in the last maybe 24 hours or so, which I think we have about maybe 60 colors of daggers or so that we've put onto the website. They are fantastic fun to work with, so amazing when it comes to creating these, well, what I'm going to be making today, which is I'm going to make a dragonfly, and I'm also going to show you how to make a beautiful beaded daisy. So um, if, uh, if you haven't seen those sorts of things, let me just show you really quickly what it is. So we have a, a fantastic little instruction booklet which you can get from the um, description up in the link. So if you haven't done that before, if you have a little look in the link up in the description. So if you're on Facebook, I think it's above. If you're on YouTube, I think it's below. And in there, you'll find a bunch of links that will take you to all sorts of different paid places on, the pay, uh, on our website. But if you click the one that takes you to, I can't remember what the exact wording of it is, but uh, it says, you know, if you want to see the, uh, the the pattern today that I'm using, if you want to see um, the products and all of that, that's one link. Then there's another link which will allow you to subscribe to our email list, which if you haven't uh, done that before, it's definitely worthwhile subscribing to our email list just because then you are guaranteed to know when we do live videos. So if this is the first time you're watching one of our live videos and um, you're enjoying it and you think, great, this is a fantastic video, I want to see more like this, click the link in the description to sign up to our um, our emails. Um, but yeah, definitely if uh, there's two different things, actually I'll show you on the website first of all, because I have a feeling that might be the best way to, to show it to you. So let me just pop it on the front screen there. <clears throat> this is our brand new desktop homepage layout. I've just put it on today. So you can see right here in the middle, this will take you to the tutorial video that you're watching right now. So if you're watching um, and you don't have time, if you go to the Bead Spider homepage right here, smack bang at the very, very top, you can click on this and you can watch the show on demand anytime after it's finished. Now, another thing I'll show you, here's what's upcoming. So this is the next video. And then down here, these are the two videos I did last. So on Saturday, I did Netting Stitch with Crystals, which is this video here, which was a really nice one, making a couple of um, bracelets and necklaces. By the way, that is uh, the kits for that are still on sale, but they will go off sale, I believe, this evening. I think so. Um, and then we've got our honeycomb video there as well. If you want to have a look, I'll just show you this just here. This little link is going to take you to the related products for today's video. So just on here, this is the thing I want to show you first and foremost. Just here, the very, very first one. This is this little, wait a second, let me just show you. That's this instruction booklet just here. So there's so much in this little booklet. It's, uh, I think, 16 pages possibly, or maybe 12 or something. Um, but yeah, inside here, there's so much content, uh, things that you will learn. There's necklaces, there's um, all sorts of different brooches, there's flowers, all sorts. I will show you these sorts of things, but I'm not able to show you everything that's in the book. So if you head down to our website this one just here at the very beginning that is that pattern book but i do also have which includes the pattern book which is this one just here but this is our dagger designs booklet 
and bead collection. So I'll just show you very quickly. These are the sorts of things I'm going to be using today. We've got four different colors to choose from, which I'll show you them just here. This is the very first one, which is called Blue Lagoon. If I open it up nice and big, uh, you can almost see one of those images there at the top. You get a strand of um, six mil Aurora glass beads, which I'm going to show you all of these in a minute. You also get um, six mil crystal bicones, four mil crystal bicones, three different colors of dagger beads, and some brooch findings, some um, key ring findings here, and some seed beads as well. Plus, I think we've got uh, there's thread in there, plus a few other extra bits which aren't in the picture. But we do have four different colorways. So there's the purple, there's the really lovely um, sort of florally goldy colors in there, especially if you if you fancy making daisies. This one's a great one. Um, and then there's that really beautiful sort of tealy colors as well. So just to give you all of that information at the very beginning, if you want to have a go at making this um, uh, <coughs> thing, I'm going to show you the physical contents of one of the bundles because I've got three of them uh, here. I'll show you one I'll, that I'll open up in a, in a bit. But that is um, something to definitely have a look at, and you can access that from the link in the description. One last thing before I get into it. Um, if you want to be featured on today's show, because I often show off people's designs that they've been making, what they've been getting up to, what they've been doing. If you want to be on the show, send us your pictures to live at beadspider.co dot uk of what you've been doing tell us your name where you're from all of that sort of information and we will get on and try and uh, show your jewelry towards the end of the show i've got a couple that have already come in which i'll show maybe one at the beginning here and then i'll show the rest at the very very end of the show but i'll, I'll remind you about that a few more times as we go along but yes today the order of things that I'm going to do, first I'm going to make a beautiful little dragonfly, which is, if I just bring it in nice and close, hopefully it will focus there. Uh, there we go. There's one of our cute little dragonflies. I'm going to teach you how to make that one just there. And I know I'm out of focus, but don't worry. It's because I'm going to put this in screen for you. And I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful daisies as well um that's another one of our little instructions which i absolutely love these daisies um and then there's a few other bits and pieces which i'm not going to get to cover today but they are in that instruction booklet so if you don't want the whole bead bundle just grab the booklet it's on that page otherwise the bead bundle is fantastic value it's 20 percent off the beads and you also get the booklet included in there as well so bargain um, definitely for sure um, as I promised I will show just uh, I think I'll just show one picture uh, to this morning um, at the beginning here that was sent into us um, over the last few days so this one is from Colleen just here this one she's made my um, Hollywood style design here so the crystal netting that I showed which if you missed it I'll just show it very very quickly this is the video that I did on July 4th um, I did the uh, the um, netting with crystals so she's made one of those herself but she's done it in absolutely beautiful rainbow colors and it looks like she's used six mil beads for her design just there and uh like i suggested in my in my tutorial i said um if you if you want to just swap it which she says she has she said uh she had six mil rondelles because she didn't have four mils so instead of using seven beads she used nine beads to create the netting around so exactly uh like what i explained in the in the video there um but yeah there's a lot that i've got to get through today so i best start showing you everything that is the plan so first of all let's have a quick little look just now at some of these little dragonflies that I intend to start making. Just a second. Um, wait a minute. My there we go. Uh, great. And let's just bring it over to the screen. I've got it a bit bright there. I'll zoom in a tiny bit too. 
Um, so I might say hello to a few people. We've got lots of people who've joined us. Caroline, good morning. Um, Sarah, good morning as well. Lots and lots of people commenting over on Facebook. Not too many on YouTube, it seems. So if you're on YouTube, say hello to me. Have a chat, you know, jump on. Um, Sue said hello. We've got Monica as well. Kelly, she's a regular. She's always watching. Thanks for joining us, Kelly. I know you missed last week for your husband's birthday, but thanks for joining today. Um, we've got Sharon, Evelyn's on both. Um, we've got Mona from Canada. Thanks for joining. Sylvia as well. Um, Sharon, uh, she's a regular as well. Thanks. Jermaine, my mother, my dear mother, she's watching too. Stacy, we've got joined in as well. D has joined us too, Francis, Nina, lots and lots and lots of people. Good morning to all of you. Um, oh, and Maxine, of course. Say hello to Maxine, everyone, my beautiful girlfriend who's upstairs. She says, hi from upstairs. I'm doing my dissertation while watching. So be sure, everyone, to say hello to uh, Maxine. She's watching right now too. Um, but yeah, so uh, let me just show you the different goodies that I have today that I'm going to be using. Uh, I'll just put along the bottom the materials. So I'm going to be using five by 11 crystal daggers, which are these ones. Oh, wait, we're just a little bit out of focus. Sorry about that. There we go. So here are some absolutely stunning five by 11 uh, crystal dagger beads that we have. Uh, that we sell oops sorry i'll just fiddle with the brightness a bit there so we can see no yeah that's a good spot there so yes if we have a little look i'll just zoom in you can see hi nancy in florida um you can see these little beads are absolutely stunning they've got these stencils on them so i'm going to be using these ones to make my wings for my um little dragonfly first i've got some size eight um little seed beads here as well let's zoom out so we can see a bit better um oh five by 16 what am i talking about jermaine's just told me they're five by 16 which she's entirely right and i did know that and i don't know why i said five by eight but anyway um i've also got some six mil bicones in there as well and i've got some four mil bicones so these are all of the different things that i'm going to be using today plus as always i'm going to be using some spiderlon beading thread uh which i don't know if you can quite see it it's there in the white um that is the plan and just before we begin i'll just show you um here we go see here's the the necklace version that's in the book as well um here is the little butt of a uh, dragonfly on a keychain there. Plus, we also have one second. There we are. Plus, we also have this little dragonfly, which is a brooch, which we have. You can see there's a lot that you can do with your little dragonflies. This is the first design I'm going to show you. Um, <coughs> Hi, Ida in Durham. We've got a lot of people on today. I'm loving it. Um, as always, I've got my cup of tea and i have every intention i managed to drink it all last week i'm going to do it again today so just very quickly let's just check that it's around the right way yes i'll zoom out so that we can see um i'm going to just show you the first little part of our book in fact i might as well show you what's in um anastasia is uh she's saying hi as well so everyone say hello to everyone that's great let us know where you are what you've been doing all of those sorts of things there in the comment i'll get to them but even if i don't it's great because you guys can all chat with each other which i absolutely love it when that happens when you're all chatting with each other manuela hi from germany as well um so yes i'll just show you do you know what i've been given one of I've been given four, actually. Which color shall I open? Let me know which one you want to see the inside of. So I've got the purple designs booklet here. I've also got the um, that lovely goldeny, coppery one there as well. I've got the tealy color and the blue. So quick, come on, everyone. Comment, comment, comment. Which one shall I open up? Because I am going to open one to show you what's inside just very, very quickly because, uh, you know, people have asked what's in the bundles. So I'm going to show you. Uh, but in the meantime, while you tell me which color. So vote, 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 everyone. Um, 
which one do you want to see? OK, we've got one vote for blue. Come on, everyone, vote. Uh, but for now, I'll show you the booklet. So these are, wait, like I said, uh, here is a picture of all of the different designs that you make in the so far blue is winning by the way oh no gold lots of people want to see the gold yep okay keep voting keep voting so yeah up there in the top corner that is the beautiful purple in the top left corner that's some of the things in the gold we've got some of the blues the teal is brand new so that one doesn't have any of the uh the colors available yet um we got lots and lots of people voting i should have made this a uh a um <coughs> A poll so that people could actually vote on the on the poll uh, but yeah so I'll just show you very very quickly some of the things so here is the floral fancy necklace which I'm going to show you the flower how to make the flower in that which there's two different ways that you can make flowers but in the booklet I'm not going to cover how you do the actual necklace part but that is in the booklet and Jermaine has created a very very clever structure on the back of the flowers so that they stand up properly so that you're not going to have floppy flowers anyway um, so that's uh, that there's also the dragonflies which I've been showing you this necklace which is called our Catherine necklace is one of the designs also in the booklet plus there there's your double flower brooch I might uh, which you can see there it is as a brooch um, here also as a beautiful bangle I can show you all of these in a second in, in the flesh because they are lovely um, there's the Catherine again um, but also oh, I didn't have a picture of it but you can see it on the flower there's also single flowers which I'll come to that okay let's see I think we have a clear winner uh, let's see it looks like most people have said they want to see the gold one, I think. It's close. It was very, very tight between the gold and the the blue. But I think I'll open the gold one just because that one won just a little bit more. So anyway, the little bundles, they all include the instruction booklet, which uh, I think was, it's either 12 or 16 pages. I can't remember exactly. Uh, looks like it could be, yes, yeah, 16, I think. Then... Um, so that is included. I'll open up the bundle just so you can see everything that's in there. <clears throat> so congratulations to all the people who voted gold. You won. Uh, so that's the little instruction booklet that you get. You will also get inside there. Here we go. Let me just get all my beads out. In fact, because I want to, you to see the gold a little better, which you might not see it on the yellow, let's put a blue bead mat down just to make things a bit easier to see so let's see inside we've got some uh spider on thread as always which comes with two needles you've got two beading needles included in with your spider on thread we also have some monofilament invisible thread uh, so this one is fantastic. It's a little bit firmer. So you get some of that as well and another needle. So you do get three needles in total in here. Plus then we've got our findings just here, which I'll just open them up so that we can have a quick look at them. Uh, we've got what's everybody liking so far the best. Um, You've got two of these little key rings in there, which are fantastic for hanging your little dragonflies onto or even your flowers, whichever. They're in there as well. This is going to create a big fat mess. I should be putting them away as I get them out. Uh, you also get four little brooch backs. So already there's six projects worth that you can make, and that doesn't include any of the um, the findings that you've got in there. Uh, oh no, there's an extra one. There's another another brooch that I missed. Uh, so that's five brooches, it seems. Um, then on top of that, we've got three different seed beads. So in this particular one, we've got a really lovely light sort of ambery color, as well as this one is probably one of our most popular seed beads, the... Um, silver lined gold ones just there so there's five brooch backs yes um silver lined gold are in there which they're ultra shiny ultra sparkly uh, you get those they're both size eights and as well because they're very useful 
we give you some clear, hopefully, I, I don't want to take the seed beads out of the bag, so my apologies if, if it's a bit shiny, but um, if I get them out, they're a bit more difficult to get away. So inside there, you've got some clear AB size 10s as well. So all of these are in there. Now to the crystals and the daggers. These are the best. These are the showstoppers, these ones. So inside the gold one here, we have... I absolutely love these. These are 6 mil Aurora beads. So they, if I bring them a little bit closer, hopefully you can see, they're kind of like um, little crystals, but they almost just look like bubbles. They've got this iridescent surface on them, and they absolutely come to life when you use them. They are beautiful. If you watched my tutorial last week, um, no, on Saturday, I used some of these. Uh, but yeah, they are absolutely stunning so definitely don't uh miss out on those that's uh that there is your aurora six mils you also get some six mil champagne crystal bicones look how sparkly those champagne bicones are we that's the thing if you're buying crystals it's important to get good quality if you haven't got good quality you just do not get the sparkle like this. The funny thing is, back in the day, just a few years ago, funnily enough, uh, crystals that came from the Czech Republic were the best. So, so obviously the Swarovski ones used to be the absolute best. But then the funny thing is they moved their factory to um, China. So all of the Swarovski ones are now made in China. And after they did that, because it's sort of the Chinese way that everyone shares information with each other, all the crystals that were Chinese made, all of a sudden were just a million times better. So you can see how sparkly they are. The quality of these crystals is beautiful and it's important that you get good quality ones. So thanks to Swarovski for moving their factory to China, just in general, crystals now are better. And now these are our four mil crystal bicones here as well, which these ones are metallic gold, which I think they're absolutely stunning. Again, you can see how amazingly sparkly they are. That's all of your crystals. Now, these are the best bit, which I'm going to be demonstrating with these two a bit later on. So I'll show you this one first. These just here. I hope you guys are all liking these beads. I want to see. Um, they are... <coughs> Uh, yeah, so what do you guys all think of this this little bundle just here? So these ones just here, they are beautiful brown little um, crystal daggers. So these ones are made in the Czech Republic. Uh, so the quality of them, again, they're fantastic. They've got this stenciling on them, which makes them, wait, there you go. See that little stenciling? It's like a rainbow stenciling. Um, it's It was a... It's called dichroic coating, which, funnily enough, it was invented by NASA as part of this um, space shuttle program. But anyway, some clever person went, do you know what? We should um, have a look at these and put them on jewelry. So now you can get them on your, your little dagger beads just there. Um, one other thing, don't forget, if you want to see all of our little dagger beads, um, I put a link both in YouTube and there on Facebook. It's uh, pinned in Facebook, so you should be able to see it. But if not, it's the very, very first comment both on Facebook and on YouTube. That takes you to the product category of all of our um, brand new uh, dagger beads because we've got lots and lots of them online now. I think about 60 different ones. So you can see them all from that link in the comments section, not the, the description. The description will take you to something else. But uh, here we go. You can see some of them in the, the link in the description. But anyway, these ones are my favorite. They're called, it's called a hurricane coating. So essentially what they do, it's called hurricane because what they do, I'll put some of them down just so I can show you a few. Uh, but what they do, they mix the glass all together uh, sort of into this um, mixture and then they sort of bring it all together and swirl it around to create multiple colors in the one piece of glass so you can see that there's pinks there's ambers there's really lovely reds these are potentially my favorite um, daggers that we have 
Uh, does the kit make everything in the booklet? Yes, you will be able to make at least one of everything that's in the booklet, um, Vicky. Yes, you will. So we've d done it like that so that it's sort of like a, a one-stop shop that you can make everything from the one bundle. Um, but yeah, it is also 20% off and you get the book as well. Uh, so those are those hurricane ones just there. I really love those. And then lastly, I'll show you, these are also a hurricane as well. So you can see there's multiple colors in the one, um, but they are a absolutely stunning sort of, they've got oranges, they've got yellow flecks. There's almost purpley red flecks in there as well lots and lots what do people think which which one tell me guys which of the three daggers is your favorite so the the champagne hurricane the pink and red hurricane or the the stenciled uh the stenciled dichroic stenciled ones tell me which are your favorite i want to know i'm going to put these all away for now and then uh i'm going to get on with the demo so definitely tell me which was your favorite out of all of that which was your um favorite dagger uh in there so I'll just whack, whack these away very, very quickly. I've just made myself a, a bit of a mess just here. So I'm just trying to clear myself up. And then as promised, uh, oh yeah, some colorways are limited. Um, uh, I've just been told by the Jermaine to remind you they are fairly limited. So we don't have huge stock numbers of some of these colors, uh, but <laughs> Francis says she loves all of the, uh, all of the daggers. But yes, I also love all of them. Um, lots of people saying the stencil one. Um, <coughs> here we go. Just putting all this away. Let's just put this back into focus. Uh, but yes, the can't pick. I like them all. Do you know what, Kelly? I think you're absolutely right. It seems the consensus that everybody just likes all of them. So good choice on choosing the gold one. I'll just pop that out of the way for now. And then let's get teaching, shall we? Um, I am I'm looking forward to today's lesson. It's going to be it's going to be a good fun one. I think I really enjoy doing these um, these tutorials and I hope you all enjoy them, too. Uh, now, let's just pop this out of the way. There we go. And there we are all nice and clean. Ta da! Back to blue, uh, the little dragonfly. So first things first, I've got myself my uh, spider on thread. And I'm going to start, let me just by start by having a sip of tea. Mm. So uh, that was a lovely big gulp. Um, so I'm going to just thread my needle on just now. And then what I'm going to do is start because how we make this one, you can do it with one needle, but I'm going to show you it uh, with two needles just because I think uh, when it comes to making the necklace, it makes the process much, much easier when you do it with two needles uh, and much, much quicker as well. So anyway, I'll just show you that very, very quickly. I am going to make mine with two needles. You can do it with one. But yeah, the one you do it with two needles, it does make the whole process of doing his um, necklace part much, much quicker. Uh, but yeah, so you put a needle on both ends, which... There we go, just put my second needle on just now. Need to, where are my little snips? There we go. Uh, so yes, with a needle on each end, what I'm going to do, I'll just show you the first little instruction picture. I'm going to put on just one bead into the very, very center of my thread. That one is kind of going to end up being, if I just zoom in to show you, uh, the bottom of my little dragonfly so that's that bead there which in the photograph is this one so that's what I'm going to be doing first so now that I've got my needle on both ends I'll pick up one of these clear beads you don't have to use clear you can use whatever you want I just decided I'd like to use a clear one so that's perfectly fine uh, I'll just pour a few out just here there we go got a bit too many doesn't matter uh, but anyway so I'm going to just get one bead and I'm going to bring it right to the center of my thread just here. So whereabouts is my little camera just there? Just give me a second. I might just readjust ever so slightly to be a bit closer to me so that I don't accidentally get out of shot. Um, 
Now, uh, here we go. There we are. Uh, where's my little thing? Here we go. So I've got my one bead right in the middle of my thread here. So now what I'm going to do, I need to start making the bottom of my little dragon dragonfly friend. So let's just have a quick look just here. As you can see, I'm going to start making his little body bit at the bottom just there. So that's the very, very first thing that I need to do. So I'll just show you the picture once more very, very quickly. There it is. I just need to thread on a few beads at the very, very bottom to create sort of the bottom of his tail. So what you need, if we have a look at my design here, we need to do, I mean, you can change this if you want to, but I'll do the same as this one here, a bicone, then a size eight, then a bicone, a size eight, a bicone, a size eight, and a bicone. So these ones are four millimeter bicones. So let's just start with that. The nice thing about this is when the beads are fairly contrasty like these ones are, uh, it looks really, really good once you've got them all together because it kind of is dragonfly-ish because dragonflies are quite varying in colors. So if I'll just put on the first two beads to keep my little bit into the center, and then here we go nice and perfect so there we go there's the bottom of my little dragonfly just there let's get this fella out the way for now um but yeah i really like the contrast of these two let's zoom in a bit more shall we what do we think um there betty bennett has joined us thanks for joining betty um <coughs> so there we go so now i will continue adding on i'll do a a, a crystal bicone so I'll just pick that up, then a, another size eight, another bicone. Oops, come on now. On you get. There we go. That's three bicones. And then a fourth little bicone. That will do for now. That's going to be the base of his tail. So I'll just slide that down. And then what I'll do, I'll take my other thread through all of those beads as well. Because we're doing it with two needles as well, it's like having it double thread. So it's extra strong too, which uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm a big fan about making them extra strong. People are telling me I need to have a sip of my, my tea. You're absolutely right. Um, I think I think that is a great idea. Maybe I will do that right now. Whoops, nearly lost one of my threads just there. Just give that a quick pull. There we go. And now there we are, perfectly in position. There's the tail of my dragonfly. Just have a nice sip of tea. Have you all got your teas and coffees with you while you're watching, by the way? What are you guys doing um, at the minute? How's the weather you, where you are? It's dreary and rubbish outside here, but hopefully it's a bit nicer where you are. Um, Rosie in New Zealand. It's after midnight there. That's dedication. Everybody say hello to Rose, who's just joined us from New Zealand. She's put a message on um, on YouTube there. But let's say hello to her because she's uh, doing the hard yards and she's up after midnight because she's all the way in New Zealand. So hi, Rose. Um, so yes, what I need to do now is pick up one, two, three, four, five, six little... Um, size eight seed beads so i'll pick up eight one two three four five six six i need to do why did i say eight i don't know um but yeah six little beads there i'll just thread them down as well and then this is going to create the center of my little dragonfly body um have i got one too many there yes i do i only need five sorry about that uh i've got one too many i only need five for now six one the six one comes in a minute not yet um, so I've got my five little beads on there and then I will go up through those five as well. There we go. And now this is where I can add on my wings. So depending on how you want to do it, you can either use both threads through each side, but just for the sake of speed, I'm going to do one side. Lots of people on Facebook saying hello to you, by the way, Rose, uh, even though you're on YouTube, uh, if you can't see it on, uh, on Facebook, uh, lots of people are saying hi to you over there as well. Um, so yes, I've got these little, and now I will add on my little beaded wings. So I'll just cut my little daggers here and I'll choose myself. I need four in total for the minute. So I'll just put them just here so that we can see. And I'll pop my bicones out of the way because I'm not going to need them for a while. 
And essentially, the way that we do the wings, I'll just do them one at a time, one with each thread. So let me just make sure the instruction photo is up on the screen. So I'll just show you. So this is where we're up to now. What we're going to do, I'm going to pick up two seed beads. Again, they're size eight. Then I'm going to pick up two little daggers and then finally two little seed beads and then if you have a look at the diagram you can see i loop back around and through those five little beads in the center of his body so um <coughs> let me just do that so one and two then two little wings and then one and another so i'll just oh have i got it still on the instructions yes whoops nearly forgot about that i'll pop the instruction into the corner there so we can see it in the corner there we go so what i'm doing now i'll just move this over so that i'm a bit more in screen and what i'm doing i'm just taking one of the two threads and i've got my two beads my two wings and then two more beads and what i'm going to do is go up through these five seed beads just once more um so here we go up through there one two three four five through them all doesn't matter if it's a little bit loose now i'm going to pull it tight in just a second so that it's nice and firm pull 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 there we go and that is the first little side of our dragonfly. So isn't he coming together? Isn't he cute? Those beads look fantastic, don't they? I absolutely love them. Look at that. You can sort of see through them. They're like a light bluey color. Uh, but yeah, they are beautiful. Um, now, what I'll do on the other side, again, I will repeat the process. So if I just show you the instructions nice and big, hopefully the next one will show you. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the opposite side of my wings just there. By the way, uh, don't forget, guys, if you want to be featured on the show, I'll just pop it on the screen very, very quickly, live at beadspider.co.uk. Send us your pictures. I want to see what you've been making, what you've been doing, and I will get you um, featured on the show towards the end. So definitely send us your pictures because I want to show everyone what you've been making, what you've been doing. It doesn't have to be beadwork. It can be any other craft. It can be anything you want, really. Just send that in and I will try and get you featured at the end of the show. Uh, so time to add on my second wing. So I'll just thread on my beads. So you can see I'm now Wait, did I choose the right thread? I think so. I want to use my other thread now. So essentially what I'm going to do is thread on two seed beads, two daggers, two seed beads. And again, I'm going to go up through those beads in the middle of his body. Like so. And I'm going to pull, pull, pull all the way nice and tight. And then I can just pull both threads together. And you'll see very, very quickly, look at that. Doesn't he look amazing? What do you guys think? Um, doesn't he look fantastic right there? So what you can do now, which I recommend as a good idea, is to check that your threads are nice and tight by going through the wings once more. So I'm going to do that just on each wing once. You can do it more than once if you want to make sure he's extra firm. Uh, but because I, I recommend it's a, it's a good idea. If you want a nice firm dragonfly, you go through it at least once more on each side. Uh, so I'll just go through, 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 through his body. The nice thing about using size eight beads is because they've got nice big holes, you can go through them multiple times. So let's pull, 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 pull. Get it nice and tight again. Pull it all the way through. There we go, nice and firm. Lovely, that's looking good now. And then you do the same again with the other side. So down the wing, down the whole thing. Pull, 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 up the body. Pull, 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 there we go. And then make sure everything's pulled nice and tight. And that will have 
a lovely, firm, strong dragonfly ready for usage now. Um, Marsha says she loves the wings. So do I. Um, and Monica thinks that it's a very cute dragonfly. I think he's fantastic. I really like these uh, these wings. You can't quite see. I wonder if I zoom in if you can see it better. But there is a beautiful blue hue to these beads. They're, they're not completely clear. They've got this lovely, lovely blue that matches quite nicely with the bicone. It's like a, a very pale version of the same blue. Um, but anyway, uh, that is um, what he's looking like so far. Nancy, by the way, she's just mentioned that she has to run off. So just before you dash off, Nancy, there's something I'll show you. on. If you want to watch our show later, because you don't have time right now, if you jump onto the Bead Spider website, so www.beadspider.co.uk, this is the homepage. If you click this little uh, link just here, that's this week's tutorial video. Um, if you just click on that one, it will take you to the video page, which is this one just here. If I click on this little play button, we'll see me playing right now. Uh, but also from here, you can access um, the, the, the related products, you can access the dagger beads, and you can get the pattern but don't forget the bundle uh, includes that little pattern. So all of those are available. So like I said, if you don't have time to watch right now, um, the little link, uh, beadspider.co.uk, from the homepage, you'll be able to watch it on demand whenever you want, whenever you want. Um, even if it's six months from now, you can still watch it from um, our little video tutorials page. So time to do his little head. So what I need to do now, I'll just show you the instructions very quickly. Um, here we go. So what I need to do now is I add on one seed bead, one six mil bicone, because we want his head to be a little bit bigger, and then one four, uh, and then another seed bead. So I'll just pop the instruction in uh, away now. Um, and also I'll just pop at the bottom here the little <coughs> information about today's show. So uh, if you're only just joining us, uh, there's some good information for you there at the bottom, which instead of me telling you all again, if you've already heard it, you don't want to hear it again, um, you can just see it there at the bottom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up one little seed bead, a six mil bicone, so that one's a little bit bigger because it gives him a nice head, and then another little seed bead just there. So uh, let's just slide that down. No problem, Nancy. Thanks for watching. Um, so I'll just thread up through that with both needles again. Oops, it's just not playing today. There we go. Up through there and through the other. And pull, pull, pull. There we go. Both of them through. And then as I push that down, there we go. That's his little head now so that's the start of his head we're not quite finished with his head yet so what i'll do next i'll just put the instructions up on the screen again i'm going to add his little antenna so i add on two little um size eight seed beads and i don't think you can quite see it there also one of my clear 10 mils um well so technically in the end i'm going to add three little uh extra beads so um, let's just bring it back over here. So what I'll do, one, you only use one needle at a time this time, because again, we're just adding his head. So I'll add on two little beads and, uh, sorry, one, one, yeah, one, one big one and one small one. I don't want his antennas to be too big. So I'm going to go for one big, oh, whoops, just out of screen there. There we go. One big bead and one small bead. If we can see that, I'll just zoom in so that we can make sure we can see it nice and close. So there we go. One big bead and one small seed bead. So what I do, I'll just bring that down nice and tight to the end like that there. Do you know what, actually? Just for design's sake, I think I will add one more little bead just because I want to give him, I like it when they've got slightly big antennas. I think it's really fun. So I'll just add a second one and then I'll add my clear bead just because I think today, I think he needs big big antennas for this fella. He's got big antennas. There we go. So there, I'll just make sure it's in focus. It seems just a tiny touch out of focus. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is skipping this bead, I'm going to go back down and into 
the head and the body so that I'm coming out back down here at the bottom. So I'll just pull, 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 pull. And then that pulls that little end bead. Did you see it? How it pulls it into place. And now that hides the thread. Wait, let's just pull our beads against it. I'll just do it a little looser so that you can see. So see that there's the little loop. And when I pull, it just brings that bead right to the very end of his little antenna. There we go. And that sort of blocks the end of the bead. So it locks everything in place. And there we go. There's his first little antenna. So now with my second needle, I'm going to... Oh, Maxine has made a suggestion, everyone. And I agree. Uh, she says we have to give this dragonfly a name. Come on, everyone. I want your suggestions for the name of our dragonfly. Great idea, Maxine, who's uh, she's watching upstairs. Clearly, she's paying attention if she's, uh, you know, making such good suggestions. So, yes, come on, everyone. Who's got a good name for our dragonfly today? What should we call him? I reckon we should call him uh, Reggie. I like the name Reggie. What do you guys think? Pick pick names. I want to I want to hear some good suggestions. So I'm going to do exactly the same on this side as what I did on the other side, and I'll just go down and add on his other little antenna there. There we go. Pull pull pull. Nice and tight. And there we go. His little uh, dragonfly body is completely finished. So the great thing about this, I'll just show you. So see how he's a little bit wide in the body at the minute? That's perfectly fine. We kind of want that because if he's a little bit fat at the beginning, oh, Drago, Drago says Pat. Um, oh, Jermaine saying Andrew says Dennis. Sue says Puff the Magic Dragonfly. Bluey, Summer, Drago. We've got two people who've said Drago, funnily enough. Or is it Drago? I can't, I can't tell. Um, Derek, I like that one, Derek. Um, Aurora says D. Um, great names. Come on, everyone, keep going. More names. I want more names. So anyway, um, what we would do now, if I wanted to, but I haven't given myself a finding, is I can attach his little brooch back. Do you know what? Let's just do it anyway. I've got time, don't I? Yeah. I'll make, I'll actually, no, I, I, I will press on because I want to show you the flowers as well. I'm going to do two different styles of flower. Maxine says Marvin the dragonfly. I like that one too. Um, but yeah, so now, because see how his body's a little bit wide, when you add his little um, brooch at the back, that sort of pulls him in, which I really like, and it gives him sort of a slimmer effect. See that? So there it is when you put the brooch on the back. It sort of just brings his body in together. If I show you from the side, see that? So that way he sort of sticks out a little bit so that when you're wearing him as a brooch, he uh, holds his shape better because he's not smushed against your, your clothes. So again, another clever little design feature there by Jermaine. Um, but that is our little dragonfly all finished now. So I'm going to move on. I'll just show you some of the finished demo pieces that you can make with the with the book so again the book does show you a lot more it gives you full in-depth information time for a sip of tea by the way uh carolyn says dave dave is a good name for a, a dragonfly i agree dave sue says yeah dave as well i like the name dave um so i'll just zoom out and i'm going to show you let's go as wide as we can get before we get to the edge of our bead mat here Ooh, a bit too far um i'm going to show you some of the demo pieces uh finished pieces that you'll be able to make with your with your bead bundles uh before i begin on the flowers oh by the way good announcement this is a good time to do this uh, i'll just mention it now tomorrow or possibly friday i'm not sure which uh i can't remember if it was meant to be tomorrow or friday um <clears throat> uh we're going to be releasing another tutorial it's not going to be a live it's going to just be plain uh just watch whenever you want style so we're going to be uploading a full tutorial on the uh, on making this absolutely stunning dagger bead bracelet just here so this one uses slightly smaller daggers but i'll just show you how it looks if i can get it on my wrist and focus uh this we're going to show you the full tutorial for this beautiful dagger design bracelet just here uh that's whoops going to wait let's get it in focus shall we 
Come on now. There we go. So this is going to be a full tutorial that we're going to release onto our YouTube channel and it will be on the Bead Spider website. Um, uh, available, I think, either tomorrow or Friday, one of the two. But either way, this is going to be another great free tutorial video that we're doing that you'll be able to do just as part of our our um, our dagger bead design sort of dagger party as we've been as we've been doing. So that is going to be this beautiful tutorial here is coming in the next. Oops, sorry, it's out of focus there. This is coming in the next few days. Uh, there we go. Um, so come Saturday, it'll be it'll be available for sure. But yeah, that is a beautiful little design, which if you have a look on the back as well, it's really quite lovely. Uh, that is a tutorial that will be on our YouTube channel and the Bead Spider channel uh, in a few days' time. Um, so yes, things that you can make as well as so oh, I shouldn't have oh well um, yeah the the dragonfly necklace is a lovely little design that you can make. I'll just show you as well. Um, just to give me a second. This one here, the floral fancy, I am going to show you how that looks in the flesh in just a second. Let me just lay them out on the table for you to see. But this is an absolutely beautiful design, which is going to be using some of those dragonflies that I used in today's, that I made in today's tutorial. Um, sorry, it's going to be using the flowers that I'm about to make in the next tutorial. But you can see this is is how the design looks but the absolute best part about it is in the instruction booklet here there is a whole segment on how to structure it so that when you're wearing it it doesn't just flop because the problem with uh, if you if you if you don't quite do it quite right uh, Jermaine's come with a very very clever little design that makes the flowers sit really nicely so that when you're wearing it much like in the picture see how they don't flop down over the skin and the flowers look floppy and everything that is one of Jermaine's super super clever little techniques that she has come up with a little structure it's in the booklet um, here's another one of the colors of the flowers just here here. So that's something that you can make in that little book, which this one here, I'm going to show you how to make these flowers. Um, they are stunning. There's uh, the little flowers just there. Um, there's also, I'm going to teach you, oh, I'll show you one more little flower necklace, just because this one, I mean, you can literally, you don't have to get too floral with your, with your pictures. The nice thing about these particular beads, though, I'll just show you when I turn them over, is that on one side, they are um, clear like this, and then on the other side, they're metallic silver. So if you have a look on the back, hopefully you can see the difference. It's like this really lovely sort of satiny silver surface. But then on this side, they have like this clear surface that looks ultra sort of sparkly and vibrant. Um, but yes, I'm going to be making one of these little flowers just here. So this is in the book. This is the double flower. I'm going to show you both. This is a single flower just here. So see how he's just quite small and little? I'm going to show you that, and I'm going to show you how to do these both in the one tutorial. I'm about to start that, so don't go anywhere. That's what's coming next. Um, but lastly, I'll also show you in our little book just here, um, I'm also going to teach, you'll also learn, hi Glo, by the way, from uh, Mississippi, hope you're well today Glo, thanks for joining us. Um, so yeah, and then this is the final design, uh, it's also in the book, sorry, um, this one is our Catherine necklace design, you'll learn to make that one as well, so this is another really beautiful design that you can make with lots and lots of um, beads just there. Uh, by the way, the silver daggers that I showed you just a second ago, they're in the mint collection, so that tealy coloured one. Uh, see, there's another really beautiful one there. Here's one that's uh, from the blue. Uh, good morning to Tina, who's just said good morning. Um, how are you, Tina? Where are you watching from? Thank you for joining us, by the way. See, look, there's a blue version as well. And then I'll show you again with those silver daggers, because I've got... Ooh, actually, this one's quite nice. Now, this one isn't in any of the, the dagger bundles, but they are potentially my absolute favorite beads. So these ones just here. So that's another one. Uh, you'll learn how to make this. Again, it's in that book. So even if you're not going to get the, um, the, um, the bead bundle, which is amazing value, so 
you know. But uh, otherwise, if you want, just get the Dagger Designs book designs booklet because it has so many things. By the way, one last thing that I want to show you, just because it is so spectacular, this little fella just here. If you haven't seen these bangle findings before, give them a go. They're so simple to use, and you can they're the perfect use for your little flowers on the top. You just open it up, pop your wrist in there, and then you're good to go. So that is a really simple, beautiful little bangle design. So definitely check that out. Um, uh, that's in, if you look at the link in the description, which I'll just put the info there at the bottom, um, there we go. Uh, if you head to the link in the description, you'll be able to find this little finding here as well. It is fantastic uh, for doing your bangles because it has a nice little shower piece that you completely cover with your flower and it's so cute. Um, hello, Jerv Jervia from Ohio, and Tina, she's told us she's from Vermont. Um, lots and lots of people joining us from the US. Who is in the strangest place? Who's the furthest away? That's what I want to know. We had people from New Zealand, and I know we've got some Australians. Where, where's somewhere else that people are from that's a little bit different? Have we got anyone from South America or Africa even, or um, I don't know, any Asian countries or Eastern Europe? Where else? Where, where are other people from? Who, who hasn't told us where they're from? I want to know who's somewhere really exotic. So I'm going to make these little flowers now. So as I said, I'm going to use... Um, here we go, some little daggers. So I've got a couple of different options. What one shall I use as, so I'm going to do a double flower. So like this one, see how this flower, it's both the same beads on the top and on the bottom. Uh, I want to decide which one do we think I shall do the top flower color flower and which shall I do as the bottom color for the flower. So I've got these ones here and I've also got these. Which one should be the bottom and which one should be on top? Let me know. Vote now. Which is bottom and which is top? So this one is um, the, we'll call this one, if you if you want to vote this one, we'll call it the, the red. And if you want to call this one, we'll call it the coral or gold or something. So vote red or vote gold, whichever one you prefer. Um, Camille's originally from Hong Kong. We've got a lady from Israel. Ruti is here from Israel. I know her. She's a she's a regular. She watches quite often. Um, so thanks for joining, Rudy. Uh, Jermaine says, suggests the dark on the bottom. So Jermaine thinks the red on the bottom. What do we think? Um, red at the bottom, gold on top, says Caroline as well. Yeah, I think, yeah, we've got a few people voting that same way, I think, across across both channels. Um, all right, we'll do it that way then. So let's just, uh, yep, red, red on the bottom, gold on top. Everybody is suggesting exactly the same. Perfect. Lovely. Consensus. I don't think we had a single vote for the other way. So I'll just have a quick look. What we're going to do first, see just here in the picture, this is the first of my diagrams. Oh, I forgot to resize them. Doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little beads. I don't think that's quite right, actually. Whoops. Let me just check. I think I need to do 11 beads on the bottom first. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Where is it hiding from me? Let me just, I'm having to refer to the booklet because I could swear it was 11, but the picture only has a few less. Um, yes, 11. Good, because I'm doing the big flower. So anyway, the bottom I'll do on the big flower. The small flower, it's exactly the same, but essentially you just do the top piece. So this is essentially what, wait, wait. Almost forgot to show you. There we go. So this is what the small flower is. So this one has eight beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I'm going to do the big flower, which essentially includes the small flower on the top. So I need to do, for the big flower, 11 beads on the bottom first. So let me just cut myself a piece of thread. I thought I had one around, but clearly it's hiding from me. So I'll just cut myself a piece of thread. You need about um, a yard or a meter, a little bit less. It's not too, you know... you that's that's a generous amount um now so i've got myself a thread we only need the one needle where have i put my needle still attached to my little to uh dave it's still attached to dave <laughs> dave the dragonfly 
Where is it gone? I've just lost my needles. Oh well, I'll take one from my one of my packs just here. One second. There we go. So you do get the same size eleven needles with our um with our with our little packs just there. So don't worry, you do get needles included. Every time we give you thread, we also give you needles. Mm. Just threading it on. I've got my thread in my mouth while I do this. So that's why I sound like I'm talking with something in my mouth. Because I do have something in my mouth. There we go. Sorry about that one. <laughs> there we go. Had a bit of a mouthful for a second there. Uh, now, let's get going on this little flower. Don't forget, guys, if you want to be featured in the show, um, put a little comment, uh, you know, I'll just put it here at the bottom. If you want your pictures shown, email us your pictures to live at beadspider.co.uk and I will try and get you featured at the end of the show. So do not forget to do that because I want more people to send in their pictures. Please, just definitely do that. Um I, I would absolutely love that. So, <clears throat> here we go. Now, I'm going to pick up, oh, Caroline's in Devon, very exotic. Uh, here we go. So, I'll pick up my one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, come on, two more, ten, and eleven. There we go. So, eleven little beads, which I'm now going to, like I showed you in the instruction, I'm going to, so I've threaded on my little beads just here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring them around into a circle. So I'll just pop that little low, uh, diagram up there into the corner for you to see. Um, actually, let's make it a bit bigger, shall we? Just a tiny bit bigger, just so it fits a bit better. Oops, pop that in the corner. Wait. Just making it a little easier for you all to see it. Here we go. Maybe that's a bit too big now. Oh, well, it'll do. There we go. How's that looking? Is that better? Now, um, so what I need to do, I just need to thread it down, leave myself a small tail, enough that I can um, weave around. Jervia, how long will it take for these items to arrive to us in the US of A? So um, if you're ordering with us, uh, to the US, generally the orders, they've been, because of everything that's going on in the world at the moment, it does seem that they're a little bit slower than usual. It used to take about one week, maybe two weeks to arrive. I would, um, I would allow for three weeks uh, just to be on the safe side now, just with everything that's going on at the moment, I'd say uh, things are a bit slower than they usually would be. So if you're ordering from the US, it should, under normal circumstances, take about two weeks. But at the minute, let's just allow an extra week just to be safe. Um, and that is a, a third week there. Uh, so we'll say approximately three weeks. Um, you should have it by then. Um, a lot of people have saying that they are getting them just as quick as always one week, you know, but um, also an increasing number compared to usual say that it's a bit slower than usual. So, um, you know, we'll say, oh, right, Sharon, can you put it into right handed view? Yes, I can. There we go, Sharon. Um, because I often do that, don't I? I put it into right handed view for all of you at home. So there we go. Now we can pretend that I'm right handed. Uh, I'll just tighten that up nice and tight, pull, pull, pull. And then as you see, it all starts to come together very, very nicely there into a nice little ring. I think I may have pinched my thread a little. Wait a second, let's just pull my tail out a bit. Have I pinched my thread? I think I might have. If I pierced my thread, no, no, looks okay actually. Let's just pull it back out a bit, pull it nice and tight. There we go. Good. I thought I'd pierced my thread, but I think it's okay. 
there we go so there's the first little ring of my flower pull that nice and tight and i'll just go through one more bead i think actually no i'll tie these two and then i'll go through one more bead so if i tie them together i get it nice and firm like that and then just using my tail thread i'll go um Right, okay, so Sharon has just let me know it took two and a half weeks to get to her in Buffalo, New York, so it's probably about the same. But like I said, it's somewhere in between those sorts of times. So I'll just make a little knot just here in my, my little join to make that loop nice and firm. You want to have it nice and firm, so if you go through it at least twice, you can even go through it a third time to make sure it's nice and firm. But I'll just tie one more knot, and that's going to give us the bottom base of our flower, which you can see, these flowers, they do not take very long at all. They will come together extremely quickly. So there we go. That um, is the first little base of my flower. So if we take a look at the instructions nice and big again, now that I've got that, see I've pulled it all together into one. I will thread through a few more of the beads. So I've gone through them all to make a little flower. I've tied a knot. And what I'm going to do to add, because that right there that you can see on the top is the single flower. So what I'll do is the, um, I've got my, my little centerpiece there, and now I need to, on top of this, create that smaller ring of second flowers. Uh, so, whoops, one, one image too early. There we go. So now, with my needle, it's okay. I might go through just a couple of beads just to move away from that little knot that I made. Plus, if you want to, you can go all the way through the beads once more just to make it extra firm, because the firmer you make it, the better it's going to sit. So I'll just go through a couple extras. I won't go through all of them, but I do recommend, if you do want to have it nice and firm, which is important with these flowers, go through them all just once more whoops i just got caught a bit there let's just pull that a little bit loose how have i done that oh i see created a little loop around the bead there we go let's just pull that bead out inside that loop there we go so that's something you need to be careful for you don't want your bloody i did it again there we go careful that your thread doesn't get looped around the the flowers there let's zoom in a touch more so that we can see more what i'm doing here we go so now time for the second flower so i'll just cut myself a little bit of get a few of these lovely ones just here which side do we like better shall i use this side or shall i use this side i think i'll stick with this side um there we go and now with my little snips let's get myself um oh yeah uh, as jermaine has just also told me Another thing that you can make the flowers with is this monofilament, the invisible thread, because it's that little bit thicker, a little bit firmer. You will also get an even firmer flower using the monofilament. But again, that is included in your, your little bundle there. So um, if you've got the bundle, you don't need to worry, but this is a good little design for using the monofilament. But today I've decided to just go with thread. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little beads just here. And this is going to create the little flower on the top, uh, sorry, the little um, design on the top of my flower. So coming out just here, I will thread through all of these beads. Let me just pop this here. By the way, if you are enjoying this tutorial and you want to see more like it, um, I would definitely recommend to you to um, sign up for our newsletter because we send out um, emails whenever we're going to go live. We send you a, a little email saying, "Hey, check it out! We've got a we've got a live video for you to watch." Um, so you'll definitely get a reminder if you if you are enjoying these. There's a link up in the description which says subscribe to our um, you know the newsletter because that way that's the best way to find out when we're giving you patterns because if you want free patterns we, that's how we generally let people know free patterns available jump on and go get it that's from our email list so if you are on that list you will be able to be informed when we do those 
Um, plus, we also let you know when we got our live videos. We tell you when we've got sales. So check out the link up in the description. Um, it's right there, so easy to find. Uh, and that will take you exactly to where you need to go to get onto our email list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more. That's eight. So there we go eight little flowers. So I'll just now, what I have to do is create this little ring. Uh, I'll create the whole ring and then I'll attach it to the opposite side of my piece just here. So I'll just try and get it nice and firm. Go through all the beads again. Three. Well, actually I'll just go with through one for now, just to make the circle so that you can see what the circle's meant to look like. Here we go, pull, 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 pull. Nice and tight. Here we go. In fact, you could even tie a knot just here if you wanted to, but I won't, I won't do that. But if you could tie a knot right now to this and it would make it nice and firm. So I'll just go through, I'll just go through half the flowers, I think, just through four of them for now, because that will give me a good attach point for attaching to the bottom piece of my thing. So if I have a look here, I've got 11 in the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five. I'll go through, I'll go through the sixth one, shall I? And that will attach it. And then I can just come back into my ring again to get it going. And that will just sort of bring it onto the top. So let's just make sure everything is nicely in position. Try not to Try and get it to sit nice and flat first and then pull tight. So that's the most important thing to do is make sure it's nice and firm. Oops, I'm getting myself into a bit of a tangle just here. There we go. Nice and firm, sit it on the top. Nice and flat, pull, 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 pull. And then oh, got one dagger out of position. It's always the way, isn't it? Let's just pull that a little bit looser. Let's get it nice and firm. Where has it gone? I'm in a big mess now. What have I done? How have I done that? There we go. Come on, little flower. There we are. And now I'll just make sure it's pulled nice and tight there. It's over the top. That's why I twisted it. <laughs> Aren't I silly? Oh, my goodness. I am having a nightmare of it at the minute. Wait. How did that happen? There we go. Ah, how have I got into such a mess just then? There we go. Pull, 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 nice and tight onto the top. Now it's behaving. There we go. I've never had such a disaster with it before in all my days. So there we go. Now I can continue around through my circle. Is that in screen? Yep. So I'll just go back up now through that next bead and around and around and around through a few beads always pulling tight 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 pull 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 firmer 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 uma firmin there we go nice and tight beautiful that's coming together nicely now and then again and i might even go around it once more all the way and I might just reattach it again to the base which is a bit further around but you know, we'll deal with it so again all the way around there we go and then through a few more it's a good thing the daggers have nice decent sized holes as well so again it makes the whole process so much easier now where's the bead that i went into at the bottom where does it start from now um oh i'm a little bit out of shot i think i might zoom out just a tiny bit just so that it's easier to see what i'm doing because i don't want you to miss out on anything so pull 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 there we go get it all nice and tight and then i'll just join it back down into the bottom here we go so I'll go through, which bead is it coming into? Let's have a look. Into that one. Okay, so I'll go through these two. There we go. Pull that nice and tight into the bottom again once more, just to make sure it's nice and secure. 
There we are. Pull, pull, pull again. Get it nice and firm. You can never have your flowers tight enough because the tighter you make them, the better they'll be when you're finished. Whoops, just got caught on my thread now. I am having a nightmare of it, aren't I? Let's just get that back through there. Where am I? Here we go. Pull there. Got caught on my tail thread. There we go. And now if I pull there nice and tight, there we go. Now it's all coming together nicely. Plus, if you tie knots as well, you'll find that it comes even tighter again. The whole process is just trying to get it nice and firm, which this is coming together really nicely now. So what I'm going to do now, I need to get myself one more six mil bead, which I had a blue one around. Where's he gone? Here, little blue bead. Ah, oh, there it is. So I'm going to put a blue bead on the top. I mean, obviously, if you had a gold one, it might look a bit better. But actually, that blue looks really cute, doesn't it? How does that look? Um, yeah, sorry about getting out of camera a bit there. I just got a bit lost for a second. There we go. So there, make sure it's nice and tight. In fact, I might even just pull, pull, pull and tie a knot before I do this next step, just to try and keep everything f f firm and tight and, you know, all, all good like that. So I'm going to go underneath the thread between these two beads, up through here, through my little beaded loop, and then... Just pull it nice and tight. There we go. That keeps everything nice and firm. That'll sort of work as a nice little hold there for now. I'll take my one little bicone. So I'll just show you the, the step photo really quickly. I will add on. So you can't quite see it on the image there, I guess. But there's a little um, bicone bead that I'm using for the center. I'm going to jump across and into the bead on the other side. So I'll just show you it on the screen uh, just here. So I'm coming out of this one. I'm threading through here. I'm going to skip four. So one, two, three, four. And I'm going to go into this one just here. In fact, I might even go in the opposite direction as well, just because then it's really keeping it symmetrical. That should keep it nicely into the center. Move out the way, tail thread. There we go. So I'll go jumping across. And I'm going to jump and start going back in the opposite direction even. That'll help me to tighten things too, just because it's sort of going to be pulling against the opposite way. So skipping four and then going into it the opposite way, you'll find that it will pull very nicely into the center and onto the top of your flower. Ready? I think that was a good decision, ladies, the, uh, the dark on the top and the bright on the bottom. Um, let's just move that there. There we go. How is that looking? I think that looks fantastic. What do you guys think? Um, so I'll just weave around through here so that I'm coming back out through the dagger that attaches my little bicone again. Try not to get it caught on anything. There we go. And then I'll go through the bicone. And oops, got it. Make sure you don't get it caught over the, the little dagger beads. There we go. Keep your thread in position. And then through the daggers again. And then I might go down into the bottom just to make sure that the bottom is nice and firm and tight as well. And everything is looking all firm and tight. Again, my thread's just wrapped around my dagger. There we go. Just undo that a little bit pull it off so just keep your eye that it's not getting caught on your daggers there we go and there is one finished flower um so uh chris asks what size is the bicone that i'm using right now this one just here is a six millimeter bicone i chose a six mil because it fits nicely on top sort of so it gives you like a really nice effect of the on the um on that design there just by being that little bit bigger if it was a bit too small it would sort of get lost into the middle of your flower so i've, got, I've used a six mil bicone and now what i'm going to do i'm going to just flip it over because if this is where i needed to be if i was going to add a brooch and i'll just i'll just lift one of these little daggers up and thread if you can see what i'm doing into here i'll move my other dagger thread into a dagger in the bottom 
So there we go. See, now I'm back into the bottom row. Pull that nice and tight. And that will just, again, make sure that it's nice and firm. I'm going to flip it over to the back and then I'll just weave around a few more times just to make sure the base is super firm. Pull, pull, pull. There we go. And again, go through this next little bead. And now that I'm at the bottom, I'm in position if I wanted to, depending on if you're going to make the necklace or if you're going to make the um, the bangle or the bracelet or whatever it is, you're now in position to attach to the back of your little brooch piece. So they see that there's a little brooch piece just there. You just attach the back of your flower to that brooch piece. And as you can see, nice and finished, lovely, soft flower right there. Doesn't that look lovely? What does everybody think? Um, <clears throat> that's pretty much the entirety of the video. So I've just put a small flower on the top of a big flower at the bottom. So 11 beads in the bottom one, eight beads in the top one. And there you can see you've got that beautiful um, little finished flower that, wait a minute, let me just show you the purple version which using Germain's clever little beaded structure very, very easily becomes this beautiful centerpiece at the front of your necklace. Um, Evelyn is saying goodbye. So bye bye, Evelyn. Thanks for joining. She's off to go shopping. I'm glad you uh, have joined in. But yes, that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. Um, one last time, I'll just show you um, on the website before I show everyone's things. If you haven't sent your picture, do it now live at beadspider.co.uk and I will try and get you featured. If not today, it will be on uh, Saturday morning. Um, but yes, <clears throat> Don't forget that if you want to get our booklet, the booklet includes all of these um, different designs in there. So the butterflies, the butterfly necklace, the flower brooches, the flower necklace, that beautiful Catherine necklace, which uses netting. Um, all of those are in the booklet. So definitely worth taking a little look at, um, which uh, I'll just take you back and show you how it looks on the website there's a little something as well that's coming so don't run away i'm going to tell you what's coming up in future shows um which uh first of all i'll just show you here this is where you can go to see what products i've just been using today again the instructions are just there if you want just the instructions it is on sale it's only five pounds fifty so that's reduced otherwise just here is the bundle where like that one i showed you the gold there are the four different color options if you click just here it says choose your color option and then you've got mojito mint blue lagoon golden dream and cosmopolitan purple to choose from which they're all just here, there's examples of those. And now very, very importantly, I'll just show you what's coming up. So if you have a little look in the link in the description, it says upcoming videos. For some reason, these are out of order, which uh, hopefully they'll get fixed <clears throat> fairly soon. But this is uh, today's video. On Saturday, I'm doing the Times Square, which I'll just show you a picture here. This is what I'm doing on Saturday. So if you haven't seen this before, the Times Square bracelet is what is the plan for Saturday. So you can access that from this little link just here. If we go in here, you will see you can get just the pattern on its own if you want to. You can get um, any three of the Times Square necklaces, which for some reason they're all the way down the bottom. Uh, but yeah, you can get any three. These are the eight colorways available at the moment. You can choose any three. So if you go, you want any three of them, you click on here. I'll rearrange it so it makes a bit more sense. But if you go in here, you can just choose which of the eight colors you like best. So for example, if you like the coffee cream, you can say, yeah, I'll have one of them and I'll have a vintage blush. And do you know what? Let's get two coffee creams because I'll make one for me and I'll make one for my sister or something like that. And then once you've got your three, you can add to the basket 
and bang, there you go. It will figure you out and you get that discount. So see that, 20 pounds, three bracelets. Much, much quicker, easier way of doing it. Um, lastly, I'll just show you um, very, very quickly. Wait, let's just jump ahead past some of these. These are some of the colorways that you can get for our Times Square, but I wanna show you what's coming next Wednesday because I do enjoy showing people that. I am going to be you showing you how to create this. It's called the Neptune um, bangle there. It's a, a little tutorial bra bracelet that we're doing. I'm going to be making the Neptune, which there you go. There's a nice picture of it there. Uh, you can, <clears throat> again, we are going to have a choose any four you like this time for a discount, which I'll just show you. Whoops, there we go. So there's the um, the actual bangle there you can see. And I'll just show you on the website. If you click on here where it says this is today, you know, July 15th show in here. There are the four different designs. I just need to add in that uh, product. I've made it. It should be there. Just give me, give it two minutes and I'll put it in this category. But any of the, there's new colorways coming very soon as well. So just hold off at least 10 or 15 minutes or so uh, because you'll, the bundle product so that you can get any four you want because we're bringing new colors uh, will be available. Definitely jump on and have a look at that. That is going to be next um, Wednesday, which I'll just show you a picture of this one nice and big. Uh, for you if you like. Uh, there's going to be four new colors though, as I said, coming. So there you go. Um, but yeah, they use really, really interesting what are called quad beads. So make sure you don't miss that. So as I said, next week uh, on Saturday, I'm doing the Times Square. Then I have the Neptune coming on, um, on, uh, on next Wednesday. Um, so let me just check it out um the pictures just give me a second and i'll see what things people have been sending in just give me a moment here uh where are we um oh and do you know what before i go away with it uh, i'll just show you on the website one last thing on our video tutorial section which is really good it's easy to access if you're on the mobile section here's today's dagger bead designs tutorial that i've been doing um, so you can access that from there if you want to see this tutorial on demand later at any time uh, that's the place to watch it from we do also have um, here last week's the tubular netting we've got the honeycomb here um, this is dancing cubes but lots and lots of videos that we have done you can click load more and you'll see there's even more, even more, even more. You just keep going down lots and lots of tutorial videos. I think there's nearly 100 now. Um, and in here on this page, either tomorrow or the next day, I am going to have, like I promised, that little video um, for you showing that um, extra little um, uh, dagger bracelet. So if I can just find the demo piece really quickly, where have I hidden it? Uh, it's hiding from me. Here, little bracelet, bracelet, bracelet. Where are you? I seem to have lost it somehow. How have I done that? Well, I showed it to you earlier and now I appear to have lost it. There we go. There we go. So yes, coming either tomorrow or the next day, I've got uh, this little dagger designs um bracelet wait let me just get it back in focus so you can see uh here we go there we go so this is the um the the video that is coming either tomorrow or the next day i think um i'll just have a quick look um as well and see what pictures if people have sent their photos in as well um Carolyn said, looks fab, just gave me an idea. I have some shoe clips and I was wondering what to do with them. Um, now, ooh, I'm out of focus there. Let's have a look at what pictures people have sent us. Hopefully, I think I'm a little bit out of sync for a second, but let's just see what pictures people have sent us in. Oops, no, that was last week. Uh, let me just have a quick look. Sorry about that. Here we go. Let's see. Have they all come in? How many have we got? Who sent pictures in today, by the way? Oh, and I forgot. Uh, don't forget. Um, 
check out, uh, share, share my video. I, I forgot to mention today. I'd really appreciate it if you want to share my my video because uh, if we can spread the word and have more people watching, that's always better. Um, uh, here we go. There we are. So I've got three images that have been sent in to us so far, it seems. Uh, so let's have a look. Ready? This one is stunning. Uh, we've got Monica from Malaysia who sent this in. This one is absolutely amazing. Her little um, design that she's made on this one. Uh, she's just finished it. She really loved the pattern. Um, she used my Venetian bracelet pattern, but has redeveloped it into a necklace as well. So that looks amazing. Um, Janine, thank you for sharing, by the way. Um, anyone else who's shared? Uh, again, very much a big thank you to you all who are who are sharing. Um, but yeah, so Monica just here, she said she's just finished. She really loved the pattern. It's so versatile, which was our Venetian bracelet, which I think I did a live tutorial on a few weeks ago. Um, she used six mils and four mil plus some, some Toho's. Uh, the necklace and earrings as well. Um, she said, thank you, Matthew, for your great tutorial. I really enjoy doing beading. So thank you, Monica. I'm glad that you enjoyed that one. She's from Sarawak in Malaysia. Next one, we have Stacy. Wait a minute. Let me just try and make these fit a bit better. They don't seem like they're fit on the screen quite right. Um, there we go. This is better. No, maybe it isn't. Um, so yes, Stacy in Columbus, Ohio. Thank you. Uh, she made the gemstone cuff after watching my tutorial. So that was the tutorial I did a few days ago. Um, it looks like she's used uh, sea bamboo coral, coral chips, and then olive green seed beads to match one of my favorite blouses. Thank you for the inspiration. Not a problem, Stacy. Thank you for sending in that picture. That looks fantastic. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that you got on. Who else has had a go? Because we, we had a lot of people send in pictures of this design uh, last week. But thank you, uh, Stacy, for sending that one in. I really like your color choices as well. The olive and the red are so vibrant together. Um, and then we also have Wendy in Florida. Wait a minute. There must be, this must be a bit cropped out. I think it's, must be not quite showing the image properly. No, I didn't think so. It's, uh, it's a bit, there we go. Let's just move it up a bit. Here we go. We're missing a bit from the edge. Uh, wait, too far. Uh, yes, there we go. Uh, so Wendy in Florida there has sent us this one. She's in Palm Bay, Florida. Sounds wonderful. How's the weather there? I wonder. I bet you it's beautiful. Um, this is my first beaded Kumahimo. She used Mayuki drop beads and 3 mil fire polish. It wraps around your wrist twice and can be worn as a choker as well. That looks amazing. Thank you for sending that one in, Wendy. I'm so glad that you um, have done that. Uh, if you guys missed it, we did a tutorial on this um, beaded kumahimo just a couple of weeks ago. So thank you for sending that in. Wendy, that looks amazing. Um, I'll just check and see if I've got any more images. I think I might not. I'll just have a quick look in the folder just to see if any more have come through. But I think that might be the last of them for now. Um, let's see. Just a second. You can enjoy Monica's uh, design there. Those earrings are lovely, aren't they? Uh, I think that is all, unless there's one more. No, that's, that's it for now. Um, but yes, I do have... Wait, no, apparently I've got one more. I don't know. Yes, there's one more. One more has just arrived just in the nick of time, um, just because Andrew has been putting them, getting them ready for me. Sue in Dartford, my first attempt at bead weaving, bought the, quit, the kit from you ages ago at the XL show in London. So that one, I'll just see if I can zoom it in. That looks like it's our Tiffany bracelet just there, um, which uh, if I just zoom in for you to see the design a little closer even, uh, but yes, yeah, Sue in Dartford made our Tiffany bracelet, which is really, really lovely. Here we go. Let's have a look. How's that? So we can see that a little bit better now. It's got lovely crystal chatons um, uh, in there in the center um, and then surrounded by beads. So that one's our Tiffany bracelet kit. If you haven't seen that one, 
Tiffany. Uh, but yeah, definitely check that out. Um, so yes, lots and lots of good things coming up next week. Um, as I said, the main thing about today is either go grab that bundle. It includes the instruction booklet as well. I'm still out of sync. I don't know why. Um, it's just being a bit faff all a minute. Uh, but hopefully it'll fix up in a second. Not sure what's going on. Let's just zoom touch maybe hopefully that might fix something don't know but anyway yes the booklet just here this is a big definitely one to um to to look at uh definitely worth uh getting the book if you're not going to get the pattern at least get the book because there's so much uh, if you're not going to get the bundle sorry at least get the book i know i'm out of sync by the way so don't worry i don't know why it's going on it just does that sometimes after i look at the uh at, at our website it just decides oh we're going to be out of sync now um, but yeah, the um, the booklet is definitely worthwhile. Don't forget, on next week, I'm going to be showing you that Neptune, and I'm going to be showing you the, uh, the Neptune. There's going to be eight colors available very, very soon, as well as uh, any four bundle, um, much like with that Times Square one where it was any three for whatever. This one, we're going to have any four because it's a um, pretty inexpensive little kit just there. So you can stack them together, just like this little image just here that is um the plan just there so don't forget if you want to um join me on saturday as well i'm going to be doing the times square bracelet which i have a feeling i'd say of all of the kits that we've ever brought out this one is potentially our most popular the number one um daphne asks do you ship to canada yes we certainly do in fact i will just explain very very quickly how our postage works and shipping um so i know i'm out of sync don't worry um uh daphne when it comes to shipping if you're in north america um so the us or canada um there's uh, six pounds 50 flat rate so it doesn't matter even if you place a massive order it's only six pounds 50 to ship to you um, in the US or in Canada same if you're in Europe it's only six pounds um, so definitely if you're in Europe it's only six pounds big orders small orders whatever it is nice flat rate um, if you're in the UK even if you're not in the UK, become a member on our website. The reason that you want to do this, so for example, if you got the download version of our tutorial book just here, which maybe this will help fix things, um, don't know. But yeah, if you want to get the tutorial booklet of, did I just put it backwards to front now? Yes, I did, bloody hell. Um, yes, uh, if you are a member on our website, any downloads that you get, you can access them directly from your My Account page on the Bead Spider website. So it's definitely worthwhile making an account. Plus, if you are in the UK, um, if you make an account um, and you're spending over £10, uh, it doesn't matter what you're getting, um, any any uh, any orders over £10, you get free postage. By the way, Alana has just come in. She said, I'm so uh, disappointed I missed your session today. Alana, do not worry. Just head to the home page of our website, which I'll just take it, show you a little picture there. Hopefully it'll bring me back into sync video wise. If you head to the front page of our website, Alana, um, right there in the middle, live just here, click this and you can watch this tutorial on demand. As soon as I finished, this will come up to date and you will be able to rewind, fast forward, do whatever you want with it. So don't worry, even if you've just missed it, uh, like Alana, you can access it right away and back from the beginning, um, not a problem at all. But anyway, um, so like I said, lastly, I'll just mention, if you haven't done it before and you want to know when we're doing our videos, hit the little link up there in the description that says um, subscribe because that will uh, make sure that you are in the loop and stay informed for whenever we're doing tutorials. But yeah, thank you all very, very much for watching. We still got lots of people who are here. We've had uh, Marsha, she's been with us the whole way through. Uh, she sent me a message right at the beginning and she's here saying, bye Matthew, great demo. So thank you. Um, Janine is still on. We've got Jervia as well. She says, wow. Um, but yeah, thank you all very, very much for joining. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, 
I think uh, we shall go with Dave the Dragonfly, by the way. Um, so yeah, Dave, uh, we're based in Cheltenham, by the way. Sharon asks, Sharon Hawkins, where are you based? We're in Cheltenham uh, in Gloucestershire in the UK. So that is where we are. But yes, um, thank you all very, very much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a, a good time and enjoyed uh, making along with me, making Dave the Dragonfly, as he's been now named, um, and also that uh, that little beaded flower. Uh, but yeah, I had lots of fun doing it. I'm looking forward to seeing you all again come... Um... Ah, great. Jermaine just, just let me know that the all eight colours of the Neptune um, that I'm going to be doing next week are available now. So if you head to the website, you can get all of them now. So all is good. Um, but yes, don't forget, if you want to check it out, uh, see me see me on Wednesdays and Saturdays, 1 p.m. That's when I do my videos. So next one is 1 p.m. on Saturday. I will see you all then. I hope you have a lovely day. I am off to go and help fill your orders because apparently we've got lots of orders that have been ticking through lots of people. Um, Janine just said she signed up for the newsletter. Thank you, Janine. By the way, if you haven't done it, make sure you share this video so that lots of other people can see it too. Um, but yeah, as I said, have a lovely day and I will see you all on Saturday. Talk to you later. Bye bye.